all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back once again the walking dead season 8 episode 9 is here today and happy thursday to y'all man happy thursday y'all even though i'm recording this on saturday i know which day the episode is gonna come out come at me come at me yes anyways today last episode that i just watched um we got Carl finding out that he got bit at the end of the episode. It was a one-hour episode. And I think this one is also a one-hour episode we're going to watch right now um, to see what is the follow-up behind that. What is the aftermath of all these attacks from the Saviors? What is going to happen now? What should we expect? Uh, I don't know. All I know is I'm still a little sad about Carl. Because he's one of those characters that I didn't want to see. Get. I wanted him to like, you know, if something happened to Rick, he would t take over and stuff like that. That's what I was hoping for Carl's character. But he got bit. So it's only a matter of time before he passes. And this is maybe going to put Rick in a weird space and also Michonne. But. We'll just have to see how it plays out. Because I was wondering why everything, why they were kind of like showing that scene so much. Um, you know, if everybody's safe, shouldn't everybody be like, you know, oh, Rick, Rick. But nobody got up to greet him. Like nobody got, nobody said anything or anything like that. And I, it was throwing around my head that something is wrong with this, with this entire scene. Because if you saw Rick, you see Rick and Michonne coming down there nobody's greeting him and he's just walking to the to to you know further further on and nobody nobody's saying rick oh glad to see you're okay nothing nothing nobody's asking any questions no nothing and then he got to carl you know but yeah <laughs> you know I'm, I'm a little choked up about it but you know it is what it is <laughs> it is what it is man i didn't want to see him go but you know, I'm I'm glad that, you know, at least Rick was there. You know, I'm glad that he's there to act, you know, you know, possibly see, you know, his son go at least. So, so yeah, I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do next. Of course, so let's go watch this episode, man. And I will see you guys for the review. All right, guys, that is it for my reactions for the week. Hope you guys enjoyed all the episodes this week. Um, I did all four episodes in one sitting, but you guys get one episode per day. This was four hours of me sitting down here watching The Walking Dead, which is not is something that I'm kind of used to because I used to do that before, but you guys would get them all at once. But I've decided to kind of spread things out on the channel so you guys are not being too overwhelmed. So I'm going to start doing reactions Sunday through Thursdays on the channel. Um, and then I'll use Friday, Saturdays to do recordings and some some on Sundays too that I know will be further on down in the week. Um, so, yeah, so that's a combination of what I just did. And I have to say, man, episode nine was a really sad episode. Um, to see Carl go was very, was hard for me to let go or to come to accept the fact that, he, that he's now gone, but he is. And I, I really, I love this character in the shows. One of the characters that, um, that has grown so much. I know a lot of people has, you know, some people will have the, the argument of, you know, why, why kill Carl? You know, why has he changed so much? Why was he trying to save people this season? You also got to understand, and this is what I said. I'll put this in the context for you guys. If you were paying, if you were paying attention, because it was like, oh, season seven, um, the, you know, the finale of season seven, he, he was the first one that fired a bullet or whatever. I think it was in the final episode where he, you know, Negan got distracted when Sasha came out the casket and he just 
boom. You know what I'm saying? Start shooting people. And yes, that has always been Carl. But you also got to understand that Carl throughout this entire time, really and truly since he got to Alexandra and since he got his freaking, since he lost his eye, he's been pretty chill. He's been pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah. If you want war, you could get it. If you want these hands, you could get it. But at the same time, he was pretty chill. He was trying to tell, um, you know, he, w he was doing some very risky things in season seven. Don't get me wrong. He was gung ho, all this other stuff. But other than that stuff, you can see why he would want to change come now in, in, in the, I think it was the first episode of the season. You could see certain things changing within the ranks and it's kind of like yeah you might look at it and you might say oh it's out of character but you also got to understand that most of these characters they are changing they are making better decisions they are doing things the right way i didn't even think i thought it was rick was the one that was dreaming but it's actually carl the one that was dreaming and um you know, it, it wasn't surprising to me that Negan was in his dream because during the episodes that we've watched, the four, the, the four episodes I just watched, you know, I don't remember what episode it was. You know, he, you know, he was saying that I think it was somebody that asked him and Negan too that we could change whatever. And he's like, yeah, yeah, everyone, everyone should be working together to make things better. And I, I agree with him. But at the same time, can they really come to terms? Can Rick and Negan really come to terms? If that happens, that's good. That's good. I'm rooting for that. I will root for that. I would love to see them come together and make a compromise and say, let's work together and stop killing each other. You know, the real enemy is not us. The real enemy is the dead. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we can create a, a happier life. Stop killing each other. Stop using people stop enslaving people stop doing all of these things you're just lowering the population that is already being lowered already it's not many people left and y'all are kill killing each other and it kind of goes to show you too in real life this is what happens when people when people talk about you know crime and all of this other stuff and they try to justify it with stupidity you get what I'm saying? It's just like, let's stop killing each other. Yes, people, you know, are going to commit crimes because they feel like they don't have any other choice. Or they're just malicious, crazy people that feels like, you know, life has no meaning to them and your life has no meaning to them. So they decide to take you out or take somebody out or, you know, they don't care. As long as they're alive, they're alive. They don't care about who they take out. But in the context of this show... I think they could come to an agreement. They've both taken L's. They've both taken W's at this point. They could come to the table. I know Negan still wants to kill Rick because, you know, he, um, Negan is a, is, he's a psychopath. He's a psychopath. He's a sociopath. He can't believe shit that comes out of his mouth. He jokes around killing people. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, that's his version of keeping people in line. I get it. But at the same time, you know, um, there's still a certain, you know, sliver of morality there when it comes to Negan, right? There's still just, you know, a certain amount of morality with him that you can agree with. There's things that he does that you can agree with, that you can nod your head to and be like, okay, that's, you know, that makes sense. You know what I mean? So I totally um, think that they could come to the table, talk you know, and, and, and hash out some differences, even if they want to go their separate ways or whatever. I think they, I think they could live in a, in a society that's really like that. I'm going to be honest. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm always the, the, the optimistic, you know, realist person when it comes on to certain things. Yes. You know, if it's all our war, it's all our war. And I can rock with that it's rick versus negan but if they come together and say um hey let's stop this let's kill each other let's you know let's fix up all of these places and just live man and just live and you know 
we scavenge together. We do all that good stuff together. And, you know, we share the goods and everybody can eat. You know, I'm not against that either. You know what I'm saying? But there's always war before peace. So we'll see how things go. Anyways, I enjoyed this episode. So you guys know you won't see another episode until next week, Monday. So just be careful. Okay, don't come on. Don't come in my comment section asking me <laughs> where's the next one. Okay, because I will tell you <laughs> emphatically so. <laughs> right. So I really do enjoy you guys, man. You guys have been awesome. You guys have been hitting the like button. You guys have been, you know, just doing it. We're still we're, we're doing around 150 per views per episode right now. So I really do appreciate you guys for coming through and leaving a like. Don't forget to do that. Don't forget to leave a comment. Um, things have things have been going up on the channel percentage wise when it comes down to views, watch time and, you know, and all that good stuff. So I have to show you guys as much appreciation as I can, um, you know, and just keep going with the reactions. It is not easy for me to do the schedule that I put out. I know it's not going to be easy to do that many reactions in only two days of recording. I know it's going to be tough, but I'm doing what I got to do to make sure you guys have episodes throughout the week. Because I don't want to leave it up to, oh, maybe I'll get home in time to do it. Or I'm going to have to be recording till 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to have to do that. So I'll grind it out. And I'll get these episodes out recorded in those two days. And then I'll schedule them for the week as you've seen. If you have not seen that schedule and you watch something else on the channel. You want to know what's going on. Check the community tab and you will see what I put out there so you guys will know what days for what shows and how many episodes you're going to get on any day or whatever the situation is for individual shows that I watch, including anime is there and you will see that. So I will see you guys next Monday. Hope you guys enjoy the reactions, man. And love you guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. See more Terabyte Reacts. Peace.